In South Carolina, the emotional effort to remove the Confederate flag from the state house grounds hit a hurdle. Dozens of them, in fact, as a state rural, uh, as a state rural upstate community launched an effort to kill a bill. NBC's Ron Allen has more. Representative Pitts is recognized on the amendment. Representative Mike Pitts is virtually a one-man wrecking crew in the South Carolina House, offering amendment after amendment, at least 25 and still counting, dominating the emotional debate about a bill that would remove the Confederate flag from the State House grounds. Yellow jasmine has a good smell. He wants a bed of state flowers planted if the flag and its pole are removed, or a granite monument with the flag cast in bronze, or the flag in a glass case. What his critics call filibuster by amendment. So clearly you're trying to just thwart I, this process. Nope. I am trying to reach a compromise and find one amendment that can do that. He hails from a rural community in upstate South Carolina, a manufacturing and farming hub. Why is this flag so important? I grew up with that flag, the current flag, being almost a symbol of, of reverence because of my family's service in that war. It was not a racial issue. Are you concerned that you're on the wrong side of history now? No, nope, I am not. I would like the heritage that I represent also respected in the process. It's that simple. The debate went on for hours with a number of other defenders of the flag adding their voices. All this continues on Thursday. Most observers expect the bill eventually will pass with the flag coming down, perhaps by the end of the week. Ron Allen, NBC News, Columbia, South Carolina.